Hey guys, so today I am going to be doing this video on showing off all my ceramics work. So that is a big accomplishment for me. I've made so many different things in my ceramics class this year. I've been taking the class pretty much since January, but um, today was pretty much like my last class. And I actually have to go back tomorrow because starting tomorrow I start finals. So yeah, and I actually have my ceramic final tomorrow. So that's why I'm doing the video now instead of later because later on I'm actually going to spend the rest of my night studying for the, my finals. So yeah, I only have two finals tomorrow and one on Friday and then next week I just have like three or four finals and then I'm pretty much done. But yeah, then after that I am done with school until the new school year starts in a couple months. So that's good, I'm almost on summer break, I'm excited. So yeah. Anyways, without further ado, I'm going to show off every single thing I've made in ceramics this year and I'm also going to describe what it, what it replicates about myself and all that. So without further ado, let's begin with me showing off my ceramics work that I made this year. So the first thing I made, it looks more like a bunny. I mean, that's what most of my friends said, but it's actually called a light vessel and it's pretty cool because um, on the bottom here, I drilled a hole into it. And basically, um, when I plug this plug, which I got right here and with stuff on it, <laughs> sorry, I just came off, but yeah, it came with like a plug and um, my teacher gave this to me and then I could just plug it in and I could just stick the light bulb part in here and then it should light up. And I'm, I would show you guys, but it's during the day right now and I don't like to actually put lights on during the day, but if I um, do soon, hopefully in future videos, you'll see this thing lit up. And it's pretty nice, especially it would help um, if I don't want to put on a light in here. I can just put on this little light and it's really cute. And it has like two antennas on it. And then basically the colors I used, um, instead of paint, um, if you've never taken ceramics or anything like that, instead of paint, you use glaze. So I used two different color glazes. I used one of them was fuchsia and the other one was more like a violet color. And I just like spread them all around and then I put some like scratches into it. So I used like my pencil mark pointer and I just dig like lines through it and then I just used my pencil point again and just made like dots all around it just like certain spots but obviously with um these my antenna things here where the light usually pops out the most um I didn't really use it with, um I used a different kind of tool I can't remember what it's called but um I had to use that for the bottom also and it helped really well so that's why I have the plug here just so in case I ever want to plug it in but yeah that's that so yeah, this is just when I want to light it up and all that. And I, don't, I haven't really lit in it much because I had to actually get another light thing because my other one broke unexpectedly, so that sucked. Okay, so the next thing I made was pretty nice. It's actually like a box and it's pretty cute. I just put, it's a little hard to see this letter, but sorry, I'll just describe it to you anyway. Um, but basically I put my first two initials, which is Alexandra, which for my name, my first name, and then I put an L for my middle name which is pretty cool. And then right on the bottom here, I carved my entire name. I'd put it all capital because if I put it in lowercase, it was just gonna all be not good enough. So I just decided to put it in all capitals and it actually came out really good. And same with this one, I just actually just put like dots around it and then some more scratches and pretty cute. And then on, this, on the top here, you can see I made a heart and it's really cute, but obviously this can't come off. So it's actually attached. And then in the middle here, I actually made another heart. So I've mostly put like more dots and then scratches. So that's pretty cool. And then in the back here, more dots <laughs> and a big hole. This could be also a light vessel, but because um, the hole's so small, I actually can't make it a light vessel. But yeah, and then just on the side here, I got another small one. And then on this side right here, I just had a little star I made. And this is good for if I ever wanna put like small little things in here, I can just slide them through here and then they can just pour out here. So that's not bad at all. But I think this came out so good and I love it. So that's good. Okay, so the next two things I made were more like tiles. So I can just like, eventually I'm gonna actually hang these. So I'm hoping maybe once I'm done with school, I'm gonna actually hang these. But here's the first one I made. And I actually came up with this myself. So this tile, I actually got to choose whatever I wanted to wanted it to say. And then on the other tile, I'm about to show you in a minute. Um, basically on that one, I had to find a quote and just what quote I like the most and um, put that on a tile. So, and make that as a tile. But yeah, and I also had to put who made this um, quote also, but yeah, I'll show you that in a minute. Anyway, so this just says, um, peace, love, 
yeah peace love smile and i just put a heart and a smiley face here and um this color actually was purple ish it's a little lighter on camera but in person it's more like a little dark in some spots but a little lighter and also for the one i just showed you so this one in particular um i just used the colors um aqua um and some pink just a little bit and then um I'd probably a tiny dab of fuchsia but not very much mostly it's just pink and aqua but these are like two of my good favorite colors so I like that one a lot and this one is mostly purple because purple is like my top favorite color so yeah that's that and now here's the next tile this is the one with the quote and this one just says um this one just says be yourself everyone else is taken this is by um Oscar Wilde and I just put on he didn't put this or anything on his, but um, as you can see right here, I just put like different types of hearts and stars around it, so that's really cute. And I actually drilled two holes on the back, you can see right here, and then um, I eventually can hang this one also, so eventually I can hang it in the background, so hopefully in future videos, I will hope you guys will actually get to see this, even though it will be far away to actually see it. But if I come closer, then yeah, you guys will see it. But yep, that is my other tile with the quote. Okay, so these are basically the ones I got to take home today. Um, eventually, I'm actually going to give one of the tiles to my Nana because it just rep represents her and myself, but mostly her. And um, I'm going to give that one to her, hopefully soon. Um, but I'm going to show it to you guys now because eventually I'm going to give it to her. But basically, this meant um, for my papa, my grandfather. I know most people call their dads papa, but I called my grandfather papa. So, um, I just put this in his memory, so I made him like a, I made my Nana like a heart, so she remembers his memory, and I made this about the 22nd of May, so that was about two, three weeks ago, I think it was about two weeks ago, but yeah, two and a half weeks ago, something like that, but I just carved Papa, and then I put, um, it's a little hard to see, because the color glaze I used was red, and his favorite color was red, so I just did red, and it just has his birthday and the day he passed away, so... Um, I just did this for a memory of him, so, yeah, and I know my Nana's gonna love it. I just can't wait until she gets this, but, yep, that is it for my Papa's, from my Papa's memory, and I know my Nana's gonna love it. Okay, the next thing I made, now, this kind of made me a little hungry, but it was really cool. This was, like, last minute I was gonna do this, but basically it's supposed to be, like, a pie, um, crust or a tart crust, whatever you want to call it and it's supposed to have like vanilla yellowish cream in the middle and then the blue things are supposed to be like blueberries so it's really cool and I made this um same day as I made the heart actually and it was pretty cool this was actually really nice um the day I actually was trying to make the heart actually came out when I was trying to carve this out actually came out as a heart so this was pretty cool it was easy I just had to like carve what the, I wanted it to say and then drilled a hole on it so yeah, but it's really, really nice. My Nana can eventually just hang this on a wall or her Christmas tree around Christmas. So yeah, it's pretty nice. Whatever she wants to do. This one I can just lay for displays around if I want to. But yep, that's my tart one. With vanilla, it looks like yellow cream with blueberries. I know, it's probably making you guys hungry, right? <laughs> okay. Now the last one is my most favorite, and I am sure if you guys like this, you probably are too. But it's so cool. I made a Nintendo DS out of clay. You guys are probably like, what? You made a DS out of clay? Yeah, and it actually came out so good. It's exactly what I wanted. And as you guys can see here, it says Emily on it, and it has like a sunshine and all that on it. And then the buttons from the D what the DS actually has, and then the arrows. And then normally what a DS has, these dots and all that. And I'm going to now tell you guys how this represents me. So, whoa, careful. Okay, so basically how it represents me. Um, about a few weeks ago, I had to come up with 10 different memories, basically about anything that's ever happened to myself or anyone else, really. And I talked about in a few of the memories, basically, I was saying about, uh, actually, this September, it will be 11 years since I met my best friend, Emily. And to this day, we are still best friends been about ten and a half years in our friendship now and basically I just carved her name and I put like a smiley face here and then when I was about three years old I know it sounds really young but I started playing video games but it wasn't a DS it was more like a PS2 PlayStation 2 but I don't know I just decided to make a DS instead 
the reason why is because when I got a little bit older, probably like seven, eight years old, I got my first DS, but I didn't get my blue DS actually until I was about, um, I was about 11 when I got that, but it was really cool. It just represented that. And basically on a regular DS and including a DSi, I think, no, actually a DSi doesn't have it, but, um, a regular Nintendo DS. So like the DS Lite version actually, um, lets you do Pixo chat and all that. And it's pretty cool. I had like the double screens and then what Emily and I used to do when we both used to play our DSs all the time, we used to do Pixo chat all the time and we would just send each other a lot of messages and all that. And then when I was a little bit, um, when it took a little bit older, I started playing racing games. It's a little hard to see because it got blue, but it's supposed to be like a race car. The black is supposed to be representing the tires, and then the sun is right here, and it took place like on a racing game outside. So this would be my most favorite thing I made, which is like the DS. I love how it came out. It's exactly how I wanted it. So yeah, I love it. It's just amazing. I love them all. Leave me in the comments below which one's your favorite. And um, definitely subscribe if you guys liked this video. I had so much fun making this and um, there will definitely be more videos to come once I'm done with school. Just wish me a look on my finals because I do start those tomorrow. Um, so yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. I had fun making it because this is what I've been waiting for to do this video for you guys once I got all my ceramics work home. I was a little worried because I didn't think they were actually um gonna all come home with me today because i know i have my final tomorrow but i was thinking i was gonna take some of them home tomorrow instead of today but i'm glad i got to take home i took home about one two three four about five things in for ceramics today the other two one of them i took home like about a week a week and a half ago and then um this one i just took home on monday so yeah but um, I had to carry, like, my two tile ones, like, all day at school. It was crazy carrying these around and also carrying what I was walking around school with. Because in my school, we have to carry our backpacks everywhere, so, yeah. But thankfully, they're all in good condition, so that's awesome. Anyways, you guys, I hope you all have a good day. Stay good, stay smart, and all that. And I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Leave me any other video, video suggestions if you guys like. And leave me in the comments below, again, which one is your most favorite. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, I'll talk to you guys, hopefully, this week. Maybe, if not, because I'm going to probably be studying for finals. But hopefully, next week. And after that, I should be done with school. Yay. Okay, bye, guys. Peace out. Nope.